guess, you know, the first question would be, do you think it's worth it to talk about education for sustainability, you know, as pertains to our film course? As in, you mean educating people on sustainability or sustainability of the film course as a sort of um, construct? Well, um, educating people on sustainability. Okay. So, like, uh, bringing in sustainability issues into the actual curriculum that we have, like, of any of our modules or in general, of course. Yeah, I think itself. it would be interesting to do that. I mean, it would be interesting to see how someone would go about doing that. Because mm-hmm. I can't think of how I'd do it, but it would be a very interesting thing to see if someone was able to do that, I think. So you think it's, like, relevant to us Yeah, as well? yeah, it's definitely relevant. I mean, sustainability is a... Uh, uh, sort of hot topic issue, isn't it? So and so, for example, if we had a module like TV and it were to, like, for one week focus, for example, like we did last year on Dave Attenborough's, like, The Blue Planet or Planet mm-hmm. Earth, and we were to talk about how, in more like cinematic ways, it draws us to the position of wanting to protect the environment, you know, because through cinematography it's really beautiful his voice over kind of humanizes Mm -hmm. all the animals you know and we feel we want to protect that so do you think like that you could bring in this idea of sustainability and how um documentaries like that actually you know encourage people to think about these issues and to want to protect the environment and maybe we could discuss that like in a seminar Mm -hmm. or in a lecture yeah i think it's interesting that you say that actually because that now that you're saying that so I'm starting to think of films that will perhaps be related to that issue as well, like uh, like Princess Mononoke, something like that. Mm. Films that draw your mind towards things like sustainability, even if they're not based in reality. That sort of thing, like fiction films, as well as things like documentaries. So yeah, I think that be it would be good to pinpoint that in yeah in seminars and in lectures and that sort of thing. So you pointed out Princess Mononoke. So could we? Like, for example, if Alistair screened that in Japanese cinema instead of, like, My Neighbor Totoro. Oh, she had. <laughs> so, like, would, do you feel it would be relevant or irrelevant to kind of then bring sustainability issues and what's going on in the world today into it? Uh, for that particular film, I think it's certainly relevant in the sense that, well, there's, there's a quote in the film, which is always been a quote that I found quite interesting, <coughs> which is, uh, if we kill the humans, we save the forest, and that would be interesting to say. Discuss that, as in how true would that be in terms of sustainability? Can we live sustainably with the natural world, and how easy is that to do, and how will we go about doing it? So you don't think like because some people would pose the the argument that maybe that's irrelevant to what we're actually studying. No more irrelevant than say. Well, say in TV, we were studying the idea of how the Olympic ceremony can make you feel nationalistic. Mm-hmm. Um, that's about as relevant as, say, how the David Attenborough documentary would make you feel inclined to be more sustained and to be more sustainable as, a, as an organism, I think. Mm-hmm. So, so you think it's even if we only focus, say, like one week of one module mm-hmm. on more of like topics of sustainability, do you think that's worth it? Uh, yeah, I think it would be cool to to have that as like a little um, part of the module, mm-hmm. something like that. Obviously, I don't I don't think it's relevant enough to bring it in as like a this is what we are discussing with regards to every film. So mm-hmm. I don't think every film is necessarily relevant when we talk about sustainability. I'm sure you could like find a, an argument for most films to do with that, but I think it's it's. Uh, it's analysing a film from a certain perspective. I think that's interesting. Mm-hmm. But not imperative. So how about a whole module kind of concerning sustainability in films or environmentalism in films? Uh, that would be interesting in itself as a module to teach, I think. Um, not sure whether I'd take it. But... Mm be interesting to talk about sustainability in within that module in the film industry as a whole as well and mm-hmm. how the film industry is sustainable and that sort of thing because the film industry obviously at times has been incredibly uh, unsustainable in its use of certain film types and stock types and that sort of thing and I think it'd be interesting to explore that as well as how the films themselves look at sustainability that sort of thing. so yeah yeah I think it would be an interesting thing to do 
So, and would that, do you think that would be like a third year module or would it be like a master's ma module? Yeah, probably, probably a third year module, something like that. It's maybe it's a bit in depth to go into in your first year. Yeah. <laughs> like straight into sustainability as a film topic, but like I would have been interested if one had been posed this year even, I think I would have at least had a look at it and like, mm, I don't want to do this, this sort of thing. But yeah, it's an interesting thing and it'd definitely be stimulating for people to write dissertations of it and mm -hmm. sort of thing that this is it's a very unique spin on looking at film like obviously film history is going to be something that is very not not all dated but it is very familiar mm -hmm. like the idea of studying the concept of film history whereas film sustainability is something that I obviously like before we started talking about it it's something that I was like oh how would they go about teaching that, that sort of thing, without sort of explaining to me, so it seems quite interesting. And did you actually, like, we, we had the option this year of taking a climate change module, mm -hmm. did you see that? No, I didn't actually. Oh, was that one of the sort of the secondary modules? It was the Institute for Advanced Teaching and Learning, like Centre, which is a Westwood yeah. uh, module. Because um, a lot of the people we interviewed said they haven't really heard of that. I didn't. I, I feel like I'm, I've looked at it, but I don't think it rings any bells in terms of me actually looking through the what was on that particular module and that sort of thing. Was it run by the film department or was it a? No, it was like um, one of the Monash University mm -hmm. kind of like the collaborations between the university in Australia and then yeah. here in Warwick. So, and yeah, and it's run in that, like, advanced teaching and learning centre. That's likely why I didn't catch my interest, I think, probably because I was focusing more on picking, like, hyper-film-centric modules, I think, this year. So, and that brings me to the question, do you think that actually having had, like, a module on maybe even purely sustainability, like having taken that climate change module... Mm -hmm. Um, do you think it would be useful for you in your future career, kind of, to put on your CV with employers? Uh, well, with a lot of employers, yeah, with things like um, greenwashing being very popular with uh, companies at the moment, I think it would certainly be useful if you're going in a sort of corporate direction and that sort of thing, and also in other directions. Um, I'm the worst person to talk to about uh, planning careers, <laughs> like, <laughs> <with> CV, <laughs> CV. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I don't know, but... Yeah, I think it would be useful for a lot of people, definitely. And I did see, uh, I personally thought that the climate change module didn't have a very good description online. It certainly it was, wasn't pushed very hard. No, it was very much like on the side. You had to really search for it yourself because I tried to find out about the other options. But yeah, it, that, that definitely was an issue. I thought it was quite hard. Um, certainly wasn't advertised anywhere, you know, within the department. Um, so then there are actual like module ideas um like i i thought of one yesterday about you have like say a module that's kind of it's not the the entire focus is not sustainability because many people have also argued that it's quite a niche topic mm -hmm. when it pertains to film yeah so maybe you know you could have a module on kind of so uh, social movements throughout like maybe that the, interesting, yeah. the century and then how they have impacted film. Yeah, it does sound good actually. And so then yeah environmentalism, sustainability yeah. is one or something like that. And you know <laughs> nihilism or something is another <laughs> one. Because <laughs> that is something like uh there was a big environmentalist movement in the sixties, seventies and you could kind of look at how films of that period portray the environment. That would be interesting actually, yeah. See that's that seems to connect a lot sort of more cohesively. And mm. just for example, being like, oh, it's sustainability in film and blah, blah, blah. that seems a lot more sort of much more cohesive way of going about exploring it, I think. And looking how how movements in historical movements have affected the films of that period. I think that's very interesting. And then there was another idea of like, um, there was a master's degree a module called like The City in, mm. in Film. Um, well, I'm paraphrasing the title, but basically that's what it's about. Yeah. And then you know, why not have something like landscape or environment yeah, in film? Cool, yeah. yeah, like, like, you know, the opposite, non-city in film, yeah. or something like that, yeah, like, like forest in film or hyper-rurality in film, something like that. That would be cool. So you're really in general in agreement that we yeah, should Yeah, no, I think that, that's cool, that'd be a cool thing to explore and go about, go about doing. Let's 
see, do I have... Um, do you think this more would apply to our actual like film modules or TV? I think you could apply it to both because it entirely depends on what you're more interested in uh, driving for, I guess. But for TV, it would be, I guess, slightly different in the sense that TV would, is more aware of the audience, I think, that it's pushing itself to. So as a sustainability thing, looking at television, it would very much be TV that encourages sustainability. Mm -hmm. Well, films can do that too, but I think film as, an in, as individual pieces tend to be more about the art rather than about the message that they push. Whereas a lot of television programs, whilst being pieces of art in themselves, like Planet Earth, for example, there's, there's a clear underlining of that documentary, which is, you know, we need to sort this out. There's a problem. Um, and this is not going to be this sort of strong, everlasting, uh, picturesque thing. It's actually quite fragile. <coughs> yeah. Um, and as for like exam questions and essay questions, do you think that's like a viable also option to have something more, how does this film relate to yeah, sustainability? Yeah. It's like an optional one to say like, like yeah, how does, how does this film look at sustainability? And well, yeah, especially if there's a module on it, that would be a useful one. Yeah, relevant. So one of the things somebody else brought up was um, the idea of like having a bit longer seminars so that actual discussions of sustainability can then you know be brought into maybe topics that are not that maybe you're discussing something else you're discussing the film as like more of the art but then you can actually bring in sustainability and somebody brought up that our maybe hour long seminars sometimes you're just so wary of the time and you know especially if somebody else has a room after you mm -hmm. you're kind of oh we have to cut the conversation short yeah. or make everything like just fit a certain time frame you know instead of maybe having a more in-depth and interesting discussion that would stimulate people to think more you know and outside of the classroom about the environment mm -hmm. so like what do you think about having like longer seminars mm -hmm. I think you need to be careful about doing that because if you, it feels a bit like if you did that too hastily, you might, might end up looking like you've tacked on sustainability on the end of every seminar. And it gets to the end of the seminar, they'll be like, and now we're into our sustainability conversation and that mm -hmm. sort of thing, and just suddenly steering it in that direction, which I don't think is necessarily uh, the best way to go about doing it. I do think bringing, bringing that as a topic into seminars is a good idea. Like, not necessarily all seminars because I don't. I think it's always going to be relevant but obviously if there was a uh, a module which involves sustainability as a thing then clearly that's going to be discussed in depth as much as possible okay well, <laughs> um i think the idea with the longer seminars was more along the lines of like in general if people had more time and then sustainability was an issue in like one of the week's films mm -hmm then you could kind of go into that more so if you knew you had the extra time. But, you know, mostly, like, we kind of thought if every, th if every seminar had, like, an hour and a half time slot, like we do for TV, and then, you know, if you kind of ran out of things to say, you just finish at the hour, you finish at 50 minutes, whatever it is, like we already do sometimes. Mm -hmm. But you... you uh, I don't do that. TV, so... <laughs> oh, okay. But, like, last year, how we did it. Oh, yeah. It was still an hour and a half. Yeah, I think that yeah, that if it seems like uh, seminars are sort of being a bit restrictive in their time slot, then that would be yeah, a good idea to extend them perhaps an hour and a half, that sort of thing. Okay, so I guess one of the last questions would be, so like one part of our group that's researching this in general, like in work about education mm -hmm. for sustainability, um, one part of our group is focusing on like the science departments and like engineering, you know, which is more so like obvious you know yeah, I was gonna say it must be a lot easier to push in those departments yeah. yeah or even you know I guess the debate in that department is not whether it's um whether it pertains to those studies because well, obviously it really does, does yeah. you know but more so like whether such a module or sustainability should be mandatory in every module or whether a module on sustainability should be mandatory yeah you know that's more so the debate so they're focusing on that then there's another group that's focusing on work business school which also, I mean, with business, yeah, definitely, sustainability mm -hmm. pertains to that. It's also the idea of economic sustainability. Um, so they're, they're working with them as well. Um, and then we're focusing just on the humanities, because that's generally the place where people are like, well, how can you, 
really integrate sustainability into the humanities. Yeah, certainly a lot harder, I'd imagine. You know, well, at least at first glance. Because at first, I mean, yeah, you could say like within the industry itself, you know, with publishing or something, you know, not using so much paper or, or for <laughs> us maybe using like in the film industry using less pyrotechnics or something that pollutes the environment. But just in general, kind of actually integrating these ideas and teaching, you know, students about sustainability is something that is generally viewed as more problematic in the humans, mm -hmm. especially because most of our studies are not practical, so we don't actually learn about the industry as much as the, the theory itself. Yeah. You know, so that was really, you know, our question whether it's it pertains to the humanities. I'd say you're definitely convincing that it does. Um, because, yeah, to begin with, I was thinking, oh, sustainability in film, how cohesive and how easy is that going to be to integrate? But then when you talk about it in terms of how the historical movements affected film, how it's been sort of represented in many different films like perhaps linking to things like environmentalism that sort of thing then yeah it certainly seems very relevant and um, I think you could do it with other humanities as well it doesn't seem quite so distant as mm -hmm. it might do at first glance 